Wow. <laughs> that's putting me on the spot. It, it's, <laughs> it's, that's, that's why I like to do it. It's a drastic pivot for something incredibly deep, and I, I like to see what people come up with. Well, uh, I think um, in my career, I, I would like people to understand that China is full of human beings, uh, many of whom are wonderful people, but that also that doesn't mean we should necessarily be supportive of the government. Uh, I, I guess my work is probably devoted towards that. And I, I think this is a country that there is a real deficit of information, at least in English. Uh, and that continues to be the case, even though it's much better than it was 10, 20 years ago. Uh, and I would like to help plug those gaps. Well, I think you guys are doing a, a great job of it. Um, I know uh, since since I've been a subscriber, uh, I feel like I'm seeing so many different sides of China, uh, both in a positive and sometimes negative light that uh, I might not have otherwise. Well, and, thank you, Alex. Uh, Can I ask, do you, do you have a history with China? I have none personally. I mean, other than just, you know, trying to be a student of it uh, to an extent. I mean, no, no more right. than, I guess, anyone else, right? It is, yeah. um, it, you know, it seems like it'd be a huge information gap for an individual to have to not focus on a nation that uh, is, you know, if, look, it affects so many people just within its own borders, much less all over the world. Yeah. Um, no, on absolutely. a daily basis. And, I mean, COVID-19 is just another example of how we've got to pay attention to what's going on there. Um, I've been washing my hands like a maniac since like January 4. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I, I mean, I mean, how's this? Do, do I have a personal relationship or history with China? Uh, I've never been there, but right. uh, literally all of the tools that I am using to record this show right now were manufactured there. Right. Uh, from the headphones in my ears to the microphone. Um, it, this is a Lenovo computer, right? right. Uh, I mean, what, I feel like what better possible analogy um, yeah. than the history of Lenovo and how it relates to IBM is there for, for China and the West and this new age. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so thank you so much for coming on the show, Jeremy. Please, uh, you know, stay safe and, you know, keep us informed. Likewise. Thank you it. very much, Alex. Appreciate the opportunity. Thank you so much. All right. Deep.